Hello dear fans. How to determine wind speed. Wind speed can be determined using the Beaufort scale, developed in 1806. The identification process consists of visually examining the interaction of the wind with various objects on land and at sea. Instructions. Step 1. To determine the wind speed, indicating calm and reaching 1 km h, you must note that the leaves on the trees remain stationary and the smoke rises strictly vertically. At sea, calmness corresponds to a mirror surface and a complete absence of excitement. Step 2. Determine if the smoke is deflected from the vertical direction and if the leaves of the trees remain motionless. At the same time, there are slight ripples on the sea and the wave height fluctuates within 10 centimeters. If this is the case, then the wind speed is from 2 to 5 kilometers slash h and corresponds to one point on the Beaufort scale. This wind is called quiet. Step 3. When the wind weakly sways the leaves of the trees, turns the weather vane slightly and is felt by the face, this means that its speed reaches from 6 to 11 kilometers slash h. At sea, a light wind corresponds to the appearance of short waves and glassy ridges. Step 4. To determine a light wind of 3 on the Beaufort scale, look for thin branches swaying and smoke coming out of the top of the chimney. At sea with such a wind, there is light roughness, foamy ridges, and small white lambs. Light wind speed ranges from 12 to 19 km h. Step 5. If the wind is moderate, you will notice that dust rises from the ground, the smoke dissolves into the air, and the branches of medium size vibrate actively. Waves at sea reach 1.5 meters in height. A moderate wind corresponds to a speed of 20 to 28 kilometers slash h. Step 6. For a speed of 5 on the Beaufort scale, note that the wind is felt in your hands and whistling in your ears, and thin tree trunks sway. The sea is restless, with a large number of white lambs, and the wave height reaches 2 meters. This wind is called fresh, and its speed can reach 38 kilometers slash h. Step 7. In strong winds, you will see thin tree trunks bend and hear the hum of telegraph wires. Waves rising up to 3 meters, water dust and large ridges will appear on the sea. A strong wind corresponds to a speed of 39 to 49 kilometers slash h. Step 8. Large branches bend towards the ground, and it becomes difficult to go against the wind. This means that its speed reaches from 50 to 61 km h. The sea is very rough, the foam breaks off the crests of the waves and spreads in the wind. This wind corresponds to 8 points on the Beaufort scale and is called strong. Step 9. In a very strong wind, tree branches begin to break, and it becomes impossible to speak. Waves at sea reach 7 meters in height, splashes fly from the edges of the ridges. This wind corresponds to a speed of 62 to 74 kilometers slash h. Step 10. For a Beaufort 9 speed, note that the wind bends large trees, breaks large branches, and rips shingles off roofs. The crests of sea waves reach 8 meters in height, overturn and scatter into splashes. This wind is called stormy and its speed can reach 88 km slash h. Step 11. A violent storm on land is very rare. He destroys buildings, uproots trees. The wind speed during a strong storm ranges from 89 to 102 km slash h. The surface of the sea is white with foam, and the wave height reaches 10 meters. Step 12. During a severe storm, severe destruction is observed over vast areas. The wind speed is maximum 117 km h. Small vessels cannot be seen because of the waves, which can reach 11 meters in height. Step 13. The wind that leaves devastating destruction in its wake is called a hurricane. The sea air is filled with foam and splashes, and visibility is difficult. Waves exceed 11 meters in height. The hurricane speed is over 117 km h. Thanks for watching.